this is that car and we have the engine which is now out that's a uh, mounting that I just left on so we got the engine open okay so this is the sump obviously this is inside and that's the right way up and that's the engine which is actually upside down so you're looking at the bottom of the engine facing upwards the gearbox to the right and the first thing I noticed as soon as I got the thing off is that's the oil filter look there's stuff in it that's uh, a bit of sealant or something I don't know what's going on there you can get the uh, picture see there it is uh, I'll fish that out of course so most definitely rag the filter out of that and I might even have a look at the oil waste just in case something else is blocked but that's the bottom of the engine just thought I'd show you that so we're going to basically take all of the uh, <coughs> bearings off and with a bit of luck we should be able to get the pistons out without removing the crankshaft because I might have to remove the crankshaft which isn't a big deal it's just a case of unfastening the, uh, the bearing caps the main bearings I had to take that plate off this one here right to just get at the last two right in the corner there and over there which involved moving these things right these are the mounting braces these things here and that bar which is a, a kind of a strengthening bar which went from that point there to the side of the engine down here where you can see the bolts are so I have to remove all that just to get to those two little bolts right at the end the story of this bad design just carries on basically you shouldn't need to do that just to take a sump off anyway <coughs> and uh, I had a little bit of a mess because uh, I didn't realise that the gear oil would come out when I turned it upside down because I thought it would be alright but um, it came out through I think one of the selector holes so we need to replace the gear oil as well bit of a mess there but there you go okie dokie continuing now 